Hello, this is the next part of the video where I'm making a wind turbine which is based around, well motor wise anyway, based around one of these, an old 36 volt rear bike wheel. You know, it's got a motor, you can see the, it's got two wires coming out of it, which are the positive and negative. Sorry, I saw my tripod out. So yeah, anyway, I'm just going to hack all the spokes out. <clears throat> so if it's not too savage. We got it. Don't need that. Yes. Indeed, this is the bit we want. Because when we get all the spokes out, got to do this uh, I know it seems a bit of a waste of a wheel to people watching but this is going to be a lot better I've got an electric bike with a 48 volt uh, motor and anyway this <coughs> this motor was picked up really cheap so instead of it just sitting there in my shed for months and months possibly years I thought I'd use it for this new wind turbine I am making the problem with this kind of motor is it's uh, it's better if it's the bearing that moves rather than the whole thing so basically <coughs> yeah, let's finish doing this Yeah, maybe I could have salvaged the wheel if I wanted to take all the spokes off, but I just wasn't really interested. I'll keep the tyre if it's any good. The rest will be uh, scrapped in, in an environmentally reasonable way. Right, so now we've got this unit that generates electricity when it spins that way. So, I'll just connect it up to a multimeter, check it's working again. With a multimeter, by the way, uh, you may or may not know, it doesn't really matter if it gives a negative voltage, it just means the cables are on the wrong way around, just switch them. <clears throat> I need to mark these up which are negative and positive because they're blue and yellow. Yeah, so I've got the wires coming out there and I'm just going to crank it slowly by hand. Let's 
See, that's not bad from a, from a hand crank. This thing's going to be flying around on the wind turbine. <laughs> See, the reason I wanted to use this is because I've got this top gear. It's going to be a dual rotor spindle type assembly which you'll see in uh, one of the next videos and basically this is going to sit underneath the actual propeller shaft and this smallest gear here is going to be fed to a larger gear which is going to be on a central spindle then connected to the dual rotors and yeah it's just going to crank round and hopefully create a lot of electricity what I need to do now is to create some kind of frame we can get this on you can see here the spindle is kind of tapered or whatever they call it uh, so I need a frame for where this is going to sit longitudinally and basically we shall the, the the prop shaft will be here and this will be like a gearbox stroke motor in one or half the gearbox in one because I've already got this. Uh, we have to make sure we mount it the right way and then we just uh, see I suppose it doesn't really matter because if we mount it the wrong way we can just swap the cables on this end as long as the uh, it's not spinning that way because that would be a complete waste there's no energy being created there but this way when it's driven in a clockwise direction from the gear end it creates a charge as we can see and that's not bad because the problem might be the tiny wires we've got which are pretty crap so I don't fancy going inside the spindle end to have a play about with that because I tried before and things can get cocked up pretty quick. Come on, base. Clench in there, good. Huh? Whoops. Yeah, I'm not going to get involved playing around with that. The motor's going to sit like that. Get my camera sorted out. The motor's going to sit like that, and the pro prop shaft's going to drive it round. And this, these two bits will be suspended in a box where they can't move. So this will move, they won't, yeah, the, the ends won't move, the ends will be stationary inside the frame. So that's, yeah, that's one end we've got with the wires coming out and then the other end we've got the spindle that we, that's going to you know not move uh, the motor's going to move around the spindle so yeah in the next video uh, I've actually got another one I'm going to take apart so I'm going to do that as well and then we'll get that one linked up see what power's coming out of there <laughs>